the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we are going to do a solo Golden Arena Raid and we're gonna finish it by only using a sword. Yes, I'm not gonna use even Observation Haki just for emergency and if ever our HP will uh, reach critical level, we're gonna use the healing ability of the Cyborg and that's it, okay? For those who don't know, Cyborg is a fighting style that you can unlock in the first C for 1 million belly. Okay, so now for the strategy. Again, I'm using Triple Authentic Katana that you can unlock in the second C in C Beast Raids. Okay, so it's very hard to unlock, but it is doable. Good luck on that. So for the strategy, guys, you just need to jump four or five times and wait for the enemies to line up under you and use your Z skill. The Whirlwind Slash, and after that, try to move sideways, use your Q, your dash, and point at them, use your X skill. The Winding Blade, okay? Check that out. X skill and the uh, wave is done. Okay, so you can do this until you reach a certain wave. Because some uh, on the next upcoming waves, the enemies will get higher HP. And they're harder to defeat during that time. But don't worry, this strategy will still work. So we are already in wave 6. And our strategy is still effective. Just one combo. For the stats, we have full eight a defense and sword skills okay sword stats there you go okay so wave eight same strategy jump four or five times z or and after that dash on one side use x skill dash, okay boom okay, so we will be using two times speed on bosses yes it will take me like 20 to 50 minutes to defeat a boss Okay, so this is the first boss. Oh, the jumping one. Oh, no, second boss, I think. There you go. So, guys, for the bosses, you can use your left click or your normal attack. The good thing with this authentic uh, triple katana is that for your four, fourth left click, there is a wave that, will, that is the cycle or whatever you call it. I tried the other swords except the Yoru in the Christmas sword and this is the only one that has a special effect something like that but it also has a damage I think 2k each yeah twice for that skill or special left click ability wait we're gonna use it oh that one that, that one okay so approaching wave 12 still the fights are fast there you go as you can see you cannot one hit combo on enemy but if you can like uh, tank it, so use your left, uh, I mean left clicks, left click attacks, and go wave 13, go. You guys, I have a question. What is your fastest or your record in finishing a golden arena? Here, it's less than 20 minutes and I think I can make it even faster just by using a sword. Again, sword, that's the challenge. Okay. If you can make it faster, comment it on the comment section. Maybe we will try it. We will uh, make a party and you will show it to me. How's that, guys? Okay, so this is another boss. I think this is wave 15. There are two bosses. There you go. How do you defeat this fast? Make sure that when you're attacking using your skills, they're near each other. So that when you damage uh, one of them, the other will also take damage there you go wave 16 oh did you see that guys the enemies are getting stronger check the hp <laughs> i almost died so make sure at this point to use only our strategy jump five times use z and x skill there you go gamer no why are you making this uh video is this just to flex your strategy checker no guys I've computed the time and this is the fastest way to grind gem. Because for the sea beast, aside from maybe server hopping, uh, this is kind of tiring. I, I, I'm, this is kind of tiring too, but let's say you can finish the quest with your friends in like 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, you will get a minimum of 5 or 7 gems. So in one hour, Maybe you can get 20 to 30 to 40 gems, right? If you're lucky, you can even get 40 gems. 
not bad, right? Not bad, 40 gems. So that's it. This is again another boss. Is this Pika? Bro, is this Pika? Pika is the name of the tall guy and one of the commanders of right of the flamingo, but it doesn't look like Pika. Nutcracker. This looks like a nutcracker, right? <laughs> Because we're in the Coliseum and the only enemy that uh, Zoro defeated, right? That is really, really tall and big is Pika. Okay, so I think in this enemy we reach 165 hit combo, something like that. 175. So after that, another boss again. What's the name of this? The one with the uh, drill on its head. King Jo, King Jo, right? The one that Garp defeated. There you go. So, bosses are kind of getting tankier. But again, easy. They're all easy to defeat as long as you do our strategy. Okay. So guys, uh, do you have a uh, strategy using Devil Fruits? If you're gonna ask me, the one that I'm using we have two fruits. First up is the magma fruit. It's very good. Uh, other one is the gum fruit. Gear third or fourth unlock. The other one is the dragon fruit, but I really don't like using the dragon fruit here. Because the cooldown is kinda long compared to the other uh what do you call this fruits and you need to like uh, use all your skills to one hit combo a wave. Okay? There you go. We're already in what? What wave is this again? Sorry. 24. So we're almost there, guys. Again, if if uh, I'll just get used to it or even master this strategy, I think I can make this faster. So we're already in the 11th, almost in the 11th minute of this wave. You guys, comment in the comment section when you're doing waves with your friends. Were you able to finish it fast? Were you able to even finish it? And what are the fruits or swords that are you are using? Or is this the first time that you've seen a video that used a sword just to finish everything? Comment it on the comment section, guys. Okay. So I hope that you're learning. Even though uh, you can think of a strategy to defeat this faster using the fruits, as you can always use the strategy. The jump five times and when everyone is under you, use your skills so that you can hit everyone. Again, imagine using Magma Fruit, the V skill of the Magma Fruit that's so strong that you can almost one hit every enemy. Oh, I try I used observation hack here just to make sure not to die. But don't worry, I won't use the uh it like two or three times. No. I I think I only use it twice. So we're gonna remove it. Wave 26. Ah, oh, check these enemies. They're getting tankier. So I think we are gonna use like four, four times our strategy, four combos. So imagine if you're gonna use the Dragon Fruit and use its cooldowns, its skills four times. It's kinda long, right? So, so in side times, it's kinda hard to control the dragon <laughs> in this golden arena. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of combos. You can always use your left clicks, but it's kind of hard. The damage is getting stronger. Guys, wave 28. Imagine that we're almost done. As you can see, we're already in the ninth minute. We still have three minutes to go. Meaning, on the last boss, we really had, I think, not a hard time, but a long duration in defeating this boss but don't worry i will give you a trick or tip on how to defeat that boss okay and you can use it with your friends i think we're almost done okay we'll just make it faster there you go oh i hate this one the long range mobs they keep on running okay Final wave, wave 30. We have a boss here. Actually, two bosses. Uh, one mini boss and one 
Oh, main boss. So the mini boss is the one who's jumping. There you go. So my main strategy here is to defeat all the mobs first, the mini boss, and the last one is the final boss. Why? So that you can focus all your damage on that boss. Okay. There you go. But while doing it, try to include the boss on all your damages. Again, we're only using sword skills here. Just to show you that we can do it. <laughs> and again, guys, I've tried other fruits. You can finish this, uh, what do you call this, golden arena faster. Guys, the, the trick on defeating this final boss is he will only use his laser when you, like, create a distance. Check this out. Every time I use the C skill or create distance, he will use the laser. Meaning, if you will stick near him, he won't use the skill. So if you have fr friends, just uh, gang up on him. Stay with him. Use your left uh, clicks. Guys, uh, I found a strategy here that you can point or or put your cursor near him to use your X skill using the triple katana and he won't even use the laser. But I found out about that after this video. There you go. So here's the strategy. Just make distance when you want to like regenerate some of your HP. And when you have like 4 or 14 or 15k, you can attack him with your death clicks and use your skills. Again, he will only use his laser when you create distance. And guys, I think, sorry, sorry, I used Observation Aki like 4 times now. Because I want, I really want to defeat this and uh, this golden arena in less than 20 minutes are we able to do that spoiler alert yes less than 20 minutes so can you do it faster comment it on the comment section can you do it solo comment it on the comment section so again this is gamer nom and i hope you learned something from this gamer nom out